Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Amateur Hour. I'm your host, Ryan Diller, and today I'm joined by Chuck J, who's an upcoming R&B artist based out of Grand Junction, but from California. His first original song is called Palisade Peach. Princess Peach, I say that every jar is dropping in the place for the race, put your beautiful face and cancel. You're something worth way more than gold, if I may be so bold. Can I ask, how you got so delicious? It's ridiculously crazy. How you got my knees buckling, but I've never half stepping, so I'm trusting my instincts when I say, you're more than your beauty, your booty. Intelligent and get your paper, assuming you ain't got no man, so here's the plan. I got pretty lady, I, I. I'ma swoop in the coop, make a smile, get your food, sunset of you, so identical. I don't practice Santeria, but I feel sublime when I'm rockin' with you. Like, ooh, let me come through for you. I ain't no superhero, but I do. Fly so come sweat your wings with me too. Going through valleys, going every door. Hella very good balls of fun, I can show you. I can see the gorgeous inside of you. Let me be the first to make a move. Cause you irresistible, Miss Palace. Just come my way. Miss Palace, I'ma make my next move, my best move today. She's my Palace, Peach. Every man wants her, but only he try and reach that sweet darling thing, that Palace, Peach. Sweet to the core, love her boys, and a joy is something pure. She's my Palace, Peach. Every man wants her, but only he try and reach That sweet darling thing, my palace peach Sweet to the core, love a boys And a joy is something pure <laughs> yeah, yeah. Juicy in all the right ways, you know You got me hooked Got people having to do a second take, a second look But I see way more than you usuals if you be the queen, I'll be the king. Let's just go around right the way clean. Yeah, me and you, baby. Have this feeling like animals, baby. Let me set you free. Oh, yeah. All they can do is try and reach you. This palace. Just come my way. Make my next move, my best move today. Fell asleep, yeah. Every man wants her, but only he try and reach. That sweet darling thing, that palace, peach. Sweet to the core, never boss, and a joy is something pure. She's my palace, peach. Every man wants her, but only he try and reach. That sweet darling thing that probably saved peach. Sweet to the core, never pours. And the joy is something pure. She's my palace, peach. Ha. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. She's my palace, peach. Yes, swing with me. Yes, swing with me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. There. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Don't worry, you're good. Yeah, yeah. So, obviously, Palisade, I mean, it's a very specific song, Palisade Peach, because Palisade's right. a town near Grand Junction, yeah. and their trademark is kind of their peaches. Exactly. So, yeah. tell me a little bit about the origins for the song. So, uh, I actually made the song about uh, two months ago, and I just got into a new relationship, and it's just been blissful, nothing but great, and... Uh, she just so happens to she would lived in Palisade for a bit, and I was like, you know, she's like my peach. She's super sweet. Everything that she does makes my life a lot better, so that's right. kind of where I got the gist of that song there. And you're from California originally, correct? Right, San Jose, California. And so how many original songs would you say that you've produced? 
Uh, Since you started writing songs. Man, I, well, the thing was like back in high school, I guess I started back then. Uh, I would have people come up to me and be like, yo, can you write words for me for this yeah. song? Can you do this? So I guess since, I guess, high school, just writing words, doing my own music, making my own beats and everything, such like that, yeah. So generally speaking, how would you say that you go about finding a title for your song? Um, I definitely, it, it, it'll, it'll be sporadic at times. It's different ways that I'll get it. Um, sometimes I'll make a beat and I'll be like, okay, that's what I'm going to name the song and I'll start writing lyrics to it. Or I may have lyrics already written and I have the title already, now I just have to make the beat. It's kind of just flip flop, flip flops every once in a while. And you told me that you are an aspiring R&B artist. Like that's what you want to do with your life, right? Right. And so how does that change the way that you go about writing songs and your just general routine? Because obviously a lot, it's a lot more serious for you. Exactly, so it's, it's just like uh, if you had your own business, you got to push yourself. You're not you know, at a nine to five where you have to be there. They're gonna kind of inspire you and everything. So it's a lot harder. Um, to do that but I was kind of raised in music and it's just been something that I need in my life if I didn't have it it'd be kind of I'd be stalemate and stagnant right. and everything yeah. so as opposed to in nine to five mm. what does your daily routine look like in terms of pursuing your music so if I do have the day off because you know got, got the <laughs> nine to five to pay the bills and yeah. everything but if I do have the day off um, I do have my band wave 11 I'll either practice with them making music with them or I'm making beats for myself or other, you know, up and coming artists that I see here in the community that, you know, just need a little bit of help just with music and everything. So your band Wave 11, you said, mm -hmm. how do you guys come together and start making music as uh, a group? Yeah, so that's a crazy story. Uh, yeah. Me and the guitarist were the originators of it and we met at the back of Applebee's working and I just had told him, I was like, yeah, I went to school for music and he's like, I play guitar. He came over to the garage and uh, we wrote our first song uh, on our album, uh, Sippin'. And that was the first night, first day that we had met each other. And from then on, we've just been, you know, moving forward, been on tours, have a drummer now and everything. So it's just all on the up now. So what would you say were some of the more notable gigs that you guys have had since you guys first started? Oh man, well definitely this past summer going on tour, um, we hit um, Utah, um, Nevada, California. That was probably our shining moment there. But um, as far as like big things, of course, Mesa Theater here, we've done Cervantes, um, we've done a lot of Salt Lake, uh, yeah, very cool. big venues and such like that too, so, a so good ones. How do you guys even, how, how are you guys even approached by people to, are, are you guys the ones that initiate it with those different gigs or how does that work? Yeah, it kind of differentiates, like so if it was uh, like when we first started, um, people would notice us on Main Street playing and then they would ask us, but now that we're trying to reach new levels. We have, you know, our own ways of doing it, going online, reaching out to people and venues and such like that. It's all about networking. Yeah. So, yeah. What brought you to Grand Junction in the first place? So uh, I was living in California with my mom and dad and uh, uh, ended up coming out here. My dad had passed away and I was like, you know, my mom needs a new start. Let's come out here. My sister was here. So I uh, went ahead and bought a house and we're out here living now. It's probably the best move I've ever done, honestly. Yeah. yeah. In terms of the trajectory of your music career, what are your, some, some of your future aspirations and where do you kind of see yourself going in the next four to five years? Definitely trying to be self-employed. I, uh, you know, I feel like working in the nine to five, a lot of people feel it too, like it gets a little tiresome after yeah. a while and you want to be your own boss, control your own time. And that's definitely where I see myself and then, you know, definitely moving, moving forward in my musical career. And, just keep reaching new levels, that's it. Yeah, to change gears a little bit, you had mentioned earlier that you, you were kind of born into a music origin. So right. how, how exactly did you first get into making music? So uh, my, I, it was like, my dad was a state organist in California for our church. And uh, my mom always sang and everything, but literally right when I was out the womb, it was like, play music. <laughs> that's just what we're gonna do. Everybody yeah. in the family was musically inclined and just being raised in the church, you get a lot of flavors and then you know, my dad doing other odd jobs that weren't a part of the church, you get all these influences. So it's like, okay, it's starting to boil over. It's going to come out at one point. So it's kind of where it's got me today. Out of all the different genres that are out there, what led you to R&B? R&B is the most, oh man, it's the most soulful to me. Like I'd say R&B and blues. Um, you know, being raised in gospel is cool and everything, but then you start getting your own ideas, your, your own opinions, and you're right. like, okay, I want to branch off and do other things, and R&B is my home. It's always been, and I love it. What Was there a defining moment that specifically led you to 
become an R&B or want to be an R&B artist? Yeah, so originally it was always hip hop. I thought I was going to be a rapper. And uh, the first song I ever downloaded on my computer on LimeWire, that's for back in the day, yeah. but, you know, back yeah, in the yeah. day, people there. Um, first song I ever d downloaded was by Black Sheep called Engine Number no. 9. And I fell in love with that song, loved hip hop from then. But then as I kept, you know, growing, I figured out I have a singing voice. So I thought to myself, why not do both, rap yeah. and sing at the same time? So it's worked out pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit more about your tour. So how, did, how exactly did that even come about? Yeah, uh, we, we did everything ourselves, no managers or anything. Uh, it was mainly me and uh, Zach Kuron, who's the guitarist. And uh, we have our drummer, Derek Suter, as well, too. And um, we, me and Zach kind of just started sending emails left and right out to California. And I'm from there, so I kind of knew of some popular spots that we can go to. And then, you know, just, just being vigilant on everything that you do. You know, if you set a plan, it's real easy to just let it sit yeah. on the desk and not do anything, you yeah, know? Exactly. So you definitely, I say shout out to Zachary Rock because he pushed me. I'm a very lazy person at times, but yeah, he definitely pushed me. And yeah, that, that tour was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had in my entire life. In terms of moving forward, do you see, like with your career specifically, do you yeah. see yourself going with them or maybe straying off? Always with them. No matter what, even if I do R&B, those, they're my brothers. And even if I did go solo, I would find something for them to do on the road with me or be in the band but they're always going to be there those yeah. are my people right there very cool so you have another song coming up can you tell me a little bit about what's that one called and then yes some of the so uh, behind it? this one's called uh with the wild things and i actually just made it this past monday um i was just kind of thinking about how i was in college and i wanted to make a song for you know you know, people in college with the, so many things going on crazy yeah. thinking so stressful and i kind of wanted to relate to them to show you know this is, I feel y'all. Right. Yeah. 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 All right. Great. Well, let's hear it. All right. Thanks, man. Okay. 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 Yeah. So this next song here is called With the Wild Things, and this is for the wild thinkers out there. You're not alone. Uh -huh. The voices up in my head Always got me thinking I'm not prepared Don't wanna stop while I'm ahead Cause all I really want is that La 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 smooth So down to the bones Never been one to follow the rules So take a stroll To lands I've never seen before No, no Find me where the wild things are Always looking up at the stars Howling at the moon No light may seem much Somehow you get a star You can find me looking at the stars No life may seem hard But somehow you got a star yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find me Where the wild things are yeah. You can find me where the wild things roam, where they call it home. Hey. Find me where the wild things are. Find me where the wild things are. Find me, find me where the wild things. Find me where the wild things are. Find me, find me where the wild things. Find me where the wild things are. Oh, oh, find me where the wild things. Find me. Find me where the wild things are Driving in my six foot straight to the stars Got the all spark like I be Optimus Prime Corona and Lime As I watch the bumblebees fly Flower to flower every hour I'm laying in the field of lilies Capital and Millie Out of there, I missed that Black and proud and maybe a little silly Hey, take every second I reckon Cross my teeth and keep checking The cross and I've been playing the game of love forever just trying to go ahead and do my thing It seems like everybody lost sight That they kings and queens See, I'm just a born widow Just trying to find my home So I sing at the top of my lungs I'm a wild thing just trying to have fun Find me where the wild things Find me where the wild things are Find me, 
Find me with the wild things. Find me with the wild things. Oh, 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 oh. Find me with the wild things. Find me with the wild things. Find me with the wild things. Find me, find me, find me, find me, yeah. You can find me. You can find me where the wild things roam. You can find me. You can find me where the wild things roam. You can find me. Oh, yeah. You can find me. So you can find me. Yeah. Hey, yeah. So find me where the wild things roam. Where they call it home. So I don't wanna be no clone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can find me in my dreams, just trying to find some harmony. That's just only, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find me. Find me with the wild things. Find me where the wild things are. Find me. Find me with the wild things. Find me. Great job. We'll retry the hands yeah, here. No. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah, thanks. So I, one question I had was, in terms of the instrumental that you have playing, is that something that you wrote as well and yeah. created? So how do you yeah. go about doing that? Uh, man, there's so many processes that I, I have for making music. But um, for this particular one, I just found a sound bite that happened to be a, it was a horror sound. And I kind of flipped it around and made it to more of a sweeter sound. and. Mm -hmm just kind of started playing with it and it blossomed into something beautiful so what's harder writing well creating lyrics or creating the creating, instrumental creating lyrics really how so for music wise i feel like i always have random things in my head yeah and if i had a keyboard everywhere i went i'd be able to make every song it would be just beautiful but that's you know it, lyrics are more of that so that's why i try to work harder for that but just music comes naturally i hear when you know listen to a song how everything separates that's yeah. how i listen to a song and everything yeah. so i know that this is something that you really want to continue to pursue so for anybody that's watching this that wants to follow your work a little bit more closely mm -hmm. where can they go to find it uh i'm myself i'm on soundcloud right now um you can just look up check j on there um and then also i'm with wave 11 if you want to check out that music as well that's on spotify itunes the whole shebang just look up wave 11 wisdom and strength Awesome, yeah. Chuck J, thanks again for being on. Thank you so uh, much. In man. the meantime, you want to sing us out? Okay. We gonna sing it out today. Yeah, we be singing beauty bay. Yeah, we doing it all cool. And all I see is kings and queens. Oh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, we going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said we going out. With my men writing, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, we gonna go ahead and write smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah.